Good morning, Norway. So we landed in Tromsø about a day ago and we are now heading to Lofoden over the next um, week, probably. So today we are gonna go hit a reindeer farm. The guys have like welcomed us into their home. So they're like a local family and they've only been doing tours for the last two-ish years. And then we're heading to Senja, which is the midst massive weird spike in the mountain thing standard first thing to do is get the snow off the car this is our whip it's not a it's not a defender have you ever seen a bigger logo on a car honestly it's like look how big it is and this is how far north we are keep going keep going we're up there We have been kindly invited to spend the morning at the Tromsø Arctic Reindeer Reserve and I am now hanging with 300 of my new best friends. This property is amazing. It's governed by traditional Sami culture and they've been herding reindeer for centuries and we've been lucky enough to get a glimpse into their day-to-day -day life. We spent the morning reindeer sledding, um, spending time by the fire and now we're going to head inside for a warm lunch. It is time. I'm definitely a little bit cold out here. Hello, fella. So I think the biggest trick with like animal photography is eye contact. It's trying to get like the animal straight looking at you. I was lucky enough to spend a couple days in Africa about three weeks ago and I shot thousands and thousands of photos and it's like shooting a human but without like the control. So you're you're always looking for that direct eye contact into the camera lens and I think that's like which creates the most powerful images. morning guys so we made it to Senya last night uh, we arrived a little after dark so we weren't able to shoot sunset but we woke up this morning to blue skies and we seriously couldn't be more excited to get out there today um, why don't you just have a look for yourselves what a day the first spot we researched and I think research is like one of the most important things we do on these kind of trips is looking at all the locations around and kind of deciding which ones to go to and what's not worth it. I know a lot of people just turn up to a country and hope for the best but like that's totally not my style. It's, it's all about kind of researching the locations, what works well, what's your style, what are you looking for. So this one is a really cool one. There's some epic, epic mountains behind that, that toilet and it's got some really nice reflections. So we've picked to go early, early um, to make sure the reflections are nice and still before the wind picks up in the afternoon.
So after spending like an hour at the smallest pool over there, I literally just kind of was walking further down the coastline and found the craziest, biggest pool overlooking these mountains. I, I feel bad because I have no idea what they're called, but they're look over there. So me and Ryan, like in our shots, we love to get reflections and especially getting people in the shot is so, so important for us. So each of us are taking turns and walking up and down, like right on the ridge line with our rucksacks, wearing bright clothing, and it's just the most beautiful, beautiful composition. Check it out. So we were meant to hike Mount Segla today, but we get to town, we find out there are meters and meters of snow on the trail we need to get up. So we don't have snowshoes, we don't have touring skis, nor are we interested in touring anywhere right now. So next best option, technology. Damn. Oh my God. Don't call us lazy. So this hike is one of the most iconic hikes, I think, in northern Norway. It just has this incredible, I think it's called the Dragon's Tooth, just shearing out. But for us, there is meters and meters of snow, so I am flying my drone up there just to show you guys what an epic hike it is. It's absolutely insane. Check it out. Mm -hmm. 